Hello folks and welcome back to the Kalinga Ganja Raj as Kalua the uh, second. We are about to conquer uh, Mecca because one of the achievements as a Hindu uh, or as an Eastern religion that you can have is to convert Mecca to an Eastern religion and I really want that. And then of course uh, we have a family member that is currently pressing his own claim with a host against the Empress of the Byzantine Empire. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if it goes well, then maybe we'll actually be able to marry in and get a claim ourselves and then just claim everything straight away. But otherwise, we're actually gonna have to disintegrate the empire ourselves. Uh, another strategy is after we push through the Arab Peninsula is actually to just push through Africa, uh, get Egypt and all of that, and then actually go north uh, with um, more vigor. But to be good to this strategy, we've got to be flexible, so let's do that. I don't know, maybe this is just me, but that is a really attractive portrait. Why does this person not have the attractive trait? Holy war for Hijaz. Let's go. My marshal and one of my vassals seems to have decided to go to war against the Western Protectorate and lost. Well, I mean, that's your fault. <laughs> they surrender and we haven't even really done anything. Yes. Let's uh, declare war for Antioch. I know that it's not the most territory, but it will weaken the Orthodox faith. And um, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I mean, they only have 35,000 troops. So of course, it is a we won't be able to just survive with this stack alone. Um... So I'll retreat if they do come with more, but I think this should be good enough for now. Yeah, my um, kinsman who had a claim on the Empire and then went to war definitely lost the war and has now uh, probably been executed because I can't see him in the claimants list. Here we go, here's the Byzantine army. I wonder if it will be in... Okay, they're sieging my stuff over there. Interesting. Now the question is, if we strike, it is mountains. I would not want to fight there, no. Ah, oh, we didn't even have to fight a major battle. Which is kind of sad, because I do actually want to weaken their army. Uh, but you know what, I'll take this small victory. The plus 2x. Ah, <laughs> uh, hilarious. I'm obviously going on a pillaging rampage because I want... I just want money at this point. Oh, look! My inbred horse order is actually attractive somehow. Uh, <laughs> not by traits, but the portrait. Just look. Like, what? It must be the horse culture. The Orthodox Empress of Byzantium is now a suzerain of the Pope. I think... You know, the crusade failed, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this game. Uh, like, Venice had Byzantium under their, their yoke for a while there as well. Also, for us to show instability, I think we're going to start murdering whatever emperors are in the way um, and make Byzantium just weak enough until we can actually invade it comfortably. Because, yeah, I could invade it now, uh, do several really annoying things for them, but if they start splintering, it makes my life a lot easier. Oh, what? Okay, time passed very quickly there. Uh, <laughs> well, or I died quite young. I mean, we've been dying quite young, and I think we might have a health problem in our family. Doesn't matter, though. Things are okay. This new character is 25. And we do have, I think, five bloodlines running through our veins. But let's see here. Truck of Art in Kalua the f second ascended to heaven at the age of 50. He died a natural death. A humble man, he never wanted anyone to make a fuss over his accomplishments. A godly man, Kalua is with the Lord now. A, f a formidable duelist, we expect Indravarma the sixth to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. So be it. Fantastic. Now, the question is how do my vassals feel about me? We have a couple of them that don't really like us, but that's seat council stuff, which I don't mind too much. Most people have positive views of us, which is 
Always good. And again, we are Secret Jane. I don't like that. No. Uh, to renounce Secret Faith. I've never actually used the private conversation thing, so let's build a royal uh, bedchamber for 300 gold, but yeah, okay. We'll do that. Crusade for Saxony. Does it look like I care? Oh, you know what? I screwed up. I thought having five historical bloodlines meant just having five bloodlines, but it means having five historical bloodlines, like bloodlines that start off at the beginning of the game. So, uh, it's too much work to, to focus on that, to be honest. And we do have quite a nice few bloodlines here, so I'm not going to actually pay attention to that right now anymore. Because I think historical would be like Ragnar Lothbrok, Karl the Hammer, uh, Ashina, I would, yeah, Ashina is historical. We do have a cup, I mean, yeah, I think we have assassinated and Ashina in our blood. Um, but yeah, we'd have to collect a few more and it's just, let's see. A Song Sang Gampo is one, so we have that, and we have Ashina, that's two. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd have to have three more. That I could press the claim on the Kingdom of Sweden for a family member of mine, but the question is, <laughs> how do I get troops there? Um, I mean, if I had an ally somewhere, it'd be nice. And this would not be inherited. It might even be worth it to lose just to have pressed the claim. Yeah, you know what, let's try it. Just for for the lols. I mean, we could... That's 24... That's what? 58 ships. We could send an army of almost 6,000 men there. Alright, ships. Get ready to get to go to Kattegat. Oh, other people have, been, have joined, no? Like, what is this? Why are you in the war? Who are you? Oh, you're technically a vassal. See, but why is this white? Oh, I had the dynasty map on. I'm stupid. God. Okay, now you're pr pressing your claims on your own. I can't have you die and <sighs> fail. You don't even have enough troops. What are you doing? Ah, we have killed Belissa Tomais the second. Boom. And so, her son is the new emperor. Question is if people are as willing to kill him, though. I doubt it, but can we convince people to do so? Captain of the Varangian Guard might join. But otherwise, people do seem quite reluctant. Um, which is unfortunate. The Kingdom of Gouge is now considered part of the Empire of India. Oh, ugh. Ugh, I hope the rest is quickly annexed. Half of the Swedish army is destroyed at Velra. Uh, I think we'll just march. Right. Yeah, let's just march to Holstein. Wait. What? Why? Ugh. Why? Why am I fighting Byzantium when I'm fighting Sweden? You were a tributary, but there was no mention of you being able to call in. Oh, this is so stupid. Right, we have a bunch of attrition because it's out of supply. That's not something I've had to deal with much before. I wonder when that was introduced. Or maybe it's always been there and I've never really bothered to check. Poor Byzantines, they're probably throwing peasants at our army. Oh, look at that. Victory. What? When did an 18,000 strong army arrive up north? I mean, obviously I'm gonna lose that. And that's... God damn annoying. Two front wars, not recommended. But, you know, the important thing about this war... Is that, um... We have pressed the claim, and the claim itself is the most important part because then this child here can actually inherit it. 
and we can uh, deal with it later. All right, it's time for the white piece. Let's uh, let's do it. Ah, we have a son. He shall be Kalua the third when he inherits. Uh, let's just make sure that that's on. Fantastic. Oh, hey, it's only 1,200 gold to upgrade this to level 4. We're going to do that. England is about to actually be inherited by a Kagan, uh, which is interesting, and there are only four claimants, so I wonder, can I invite you? You're not married. I can probably invite you. You're only 30. Oh, well, you're 38, which is quite a lot, but uh, invite a court by favor. Let's see if this will, uh, no. That's unfortunate. Now this is gonna sound really random, but uh, since the last cut there, it's been <laughs> almost an entire month since I last played this campaign, and I've almost lost myself in like, oh, what was I gonna do? But yes, uh, I think I actually have a plan. So basically we're gonna try to, as we planned before, to murder uh, everyone just that gets on the throne of Byzantium, see if the empire collapses. And whilst that's happening, we're gonna focus on actually invading uh, Africa instead, uh, since Byzantium is in our way. Um, so, yeah, well, hopefully that's the, what we're gonna do, but, you know, we're, we're flexible too. Now, this is a war against uh, a revolt, so it might not work, but let's go. Oh, wow, two of my brothers are gonna start a, uh, an invasion. In the, during the same year as well. God damn. War against the tyranny of the Emperor. Isn't that great? I think this guy is pretty much screwed now. In practice, of course, I could uh, go to war against the Revolt, but this one's probably gonna end very quickly, and they do have quite a lot of troops, so... What I actually want is just the disintegration of the Empire and not just a bunch of revolts like this. Ah! The Emperor is dead! And uh, my complicity has been discovered. Let's see. Why aren't you dead? Oh, there we go. Now you're dead. Who's the emperor? Some new dude. Can I murder you? Probably not. Since people actually kind of know that I kill uh, <laughs> Byzantine emperors. Ah, the next emperor is also dead. I wonder what they're thinking, like, oh. Our emperors are just uh, dying like flies, and also looks like the new emperor has his seat. Oh, in Italy. Oh no, my son is dead. Now we have a daughter, and as, as an heir or heiress, uh, he wasn't a genius or anything, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, the war has been declared. Now the question is where his troops will spawn. So are so confusing. Oh, this is heart-wrenching. I mean, they're at 95% with their rebellion, but only 88% with ours. And uh, I just want to rush this somehow. I have 100%. Let's do it. Oof. All right. And then now we have two wars going on. I have to defeat our brothers. And, uh... Oh, that was so close. We were so close to not get away with that. Really, the optimal thing is if these two armies clash with each other. I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to actually stop them before they could land more troops, but uh, we're slowly reinforcing here, and hopefully uh, they'll like eventually clash with each other, or they'll split up enough for us to actually strike. And the second brother is imprisoned, and the wars are won. I think I'll take the hit from this event and become depressed, because I really... I don't want to be celibate just yet. Uh, I want to have more children. But... Uh, this one's... Yeah, this one's way too much. We'll just go with depressed. And I'm gonna release my two brothers from prison. I hope they don't rebel again. Uh, I wish I got, a, you know, a bonus for releasing people. Sometimes, if they're your vassals, I think you do get, but not this time. I want Alexandria, of course. I want the pyramids. I want the lighthouse. I know it's not a direct connection to our territory, but we're, uh, we're in it for conquest here. And I think that's the third emperor we've been able to 
murder. Let's see. Uh, let me look at my kill list. One, two, yeah, three, four. Four emperors and empresses of <laughs> the Byzantine Empire under our hands. Ah, another emperor to the scaffold there. Is that six? What did I say? One, two, three, or three, four, five. Five now. This one's going to be a lot trickier because she has 25 intrigue, but... Oh, and she's paranoid too. Um, also, I imagine she knows about everything we've been doing. Yeah, murder, close skin, etc, etc. Uh, but anyway, we'll... Um, if we do get some people to join here, I think we'll, we'll be okay. Ah, uh, they seem to be... They were on the way of upgrading the pyramids. And now that we've conquered them, we, we can't do anything because we're neither Egyptian, Coptic, uh, but we could become lunatic at some point, and our religion does not feature pyramid creation. Oh look, a Sunni Muslim uprising in northern, modern Syria. I'm not even going to draw the parallel, like, explicitly, because, you know, I think I'd be demonetized. Ah, the Empress is now in hiding. That's actually excellent, because that uh, weakens her hold over the Empire. Oh, I was worried about money, but look at this. This single individual in my prison that has been there for 28 years has 6,300 gold. Yeah, you're uh, funding the next expeditions. And also you, Mansoor here, have 1,500 gold. Oh, right, something I've been wanting to try out, but that I forgot, is this private conversation. Um, now, I don't know who to do it with. You know what? Ooh, I have a bunch of rivals. This princess here, can I? No? Has to be in my court, I guess. Ah, so we can get to know each other a little bit better. I can try to seduce her, or I can stab her. <laughs> because of my personal combat skill. That is crazy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna seduce her. She's my wife, after all. Let's see. Uh, wait, that's it, but I... This was fun, but that was all of it. You're my wife! <laughs> what? Okay. Suddenly I'm very worried about the legitimacy of my children. So, restoring the lighthouse. What does the lighthouse do? Uh... Doesn't really say. Well, anyway, I feel like uh, it's something we should definitely restore. It's gonna cost us a little bit, but nothing we can't afford. All right, let's start going south here into uh, Namibia, um, or Nubia, sorry, and then Abyssinia. Ah, yes, I've lost the pressed. All right, here we go. Let's continue up our bellicose path. You know what? Let's ask for a peace deal with China here. I know it's probably not gonna do anything anyway, but uh, always safe than better safe than sorry, right? My daughter and heir is now a great eminence. That's fantastic. Ah, I love the blitz that we're doing here. It's just you know, county after county after county. Of course, we're gonna lose some money, but you know, whatever. We have a big army and lots of cash reserves. Ceremonial robes. Ooh, let's take a look here. Uh, actually, oh. I thought I already had one like that. Also, why are we using the plus two axe? What's going on here? We're using the silk shroud. Monthly prestige. Okay, so this one is better. All right. Huh. Okay, so I was at war, or I am at war with this dude for this one little province here. Turns out he is a remnant of the former Umayyad uh, Rabbasid Caliphate, and uh, he has decided to convert to the Hindu faith uh, in order to avoid losing that one little province, which he's going to lose anyway. Now, the question is um, if he would like to become a vassal eventually. And Mecca is finally converted after, what, 20 years trying to convert it. Excellent. And we can probably put our uh, 
guru in Medina now. Oh wow! It looks like the King of Ireland, which held most of the Isles, must have passed away and uh, left his titles to his sibling? Not sibling, but somehow related. I think I think they must have been related somehow. If we look at history here, oh, you were ah, you conquered it as a claimant. I see. Uh, so then you must be really pissed off. Ah, yet another province to our empire. Oh, another emperor to the list. Uh, the mother actually died of scurvy on her own. I didn't bother to continue plotting against her, but now we're gonna start sowing descent in the Byzantine Empire all over again. You know what? I'm really tired of internal wars in my realm. Uh, the borders just look like a mess because of it. Like, look at this. Ugh, disgusting. So, let's uh, only allow external declarations. I uh, realize that now we can actually get enough ships because we have Alexandria and stuff. And uh, look at that. We are raiding Rome. Ah, the finger of St. John is now mine. Glorious. A town is born. Add one holding to Kalingar. Excellent. Let's um, let's build an another castle. So I got this event uh, for the, you know I sent my council, and uh, he finally got in touch with this mystic. But the mystic has a learning under ten, I think. I think it has to be at least six. Am I? I need to double check this. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna take the risk, so I'm gonna imprison her. And, uh, can we banish, execute, yeah, execute. More land, excellent, excellent. So apparently I could create the Persian Empire, but it's almost being dissolved into India anyway, so I don't really see the benefit of doing so right now. All right, it's almost 1200. We're gonna say it's 1200, basically. Uh, a new century dawns upon us, and um, I think it's time to wrap it up here. The Byzantines are having a big revolt. We've uh, basically conquered all of Abyssinia um, and gone along the the Nile there. Uh, I think we've made quite quite a a good amount of progress. Not as much as I'd like, but you know, I think we're in a good position and hopefully, actually in fact, let's actually double check this. They have 42,000 and the Emperor has 39,000. This is perfect actually. I think uh, it's an opportune time to strike. And you know what the best thing is? It's an independence war. So, um, I'm going to fund the shit out of these people here. Uh, let's see, you have not that much gold. Yeah, you guys are getting all of my money. But anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, leave it at this cliffhanger for myself and for you guys. And uh, if you have any suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I love seeing your ideas and tips. And I'll see you in the next one. This has been Game Gapster. Farewell. Farewell.